How are you doing today, all my Fila family out there? Greetings of honor coming to you from Ifila Ministry. We're very happy to be here with you today. Last week, we talked about jealousy versus children. The area of that that we looked at was um, the corporal punishment and the so-called discipline area of children, i.e. beating children, which religion somehow has in some ways um, encouraged. We hope that uh, we've learned a thing or two about that and we've taken steps to make sure that, that we don't beat our children anymore in our community because when we stop beating our children, people will stop beating our children as well. Alafia. This week, what we're going to talk about uh, just came to me. And the thought was, um, judge the jury. I, I'm like, judge the jury. <laughs> what is that? And then from that, from that, I was able to bring forth uh, a line of thought for us to talk about today. Search yourself. Stop and search yourself. What what I is saying to us is that uh, what is our duty in our community, personally and collectively? Is it possible to be the judge and jury of our own lives? If so, what are the benefits? A few days before the thought came to, to me, I received um, a te text from a, a friend and um, it was about news that uh, was heard through um, one of the mainstream news outlets called um, Fox 5 News and the news read as follows Getting killed by police a leading cause of death for young American black men still defines and I thought mm, this kind of relate to the reason why the stop and search yourself came to my mind. Has any one of us actually think about doing that in our own personal lives at all or collectively to actually stop and search ourselves? Let's think about this for a minute. Every one of us have lots of personalities if you like. But I won't call it personality in this case, I will prefer to call it qualities. Every one of us have lots of qualities about ourselves. If somebody was to call you to the side and sit you down and say, Oh dog, tell me 1,000 things about yourself that you know are good. Describe yourself in 1,000 ways. What would you do? Most people would say, Hmm, I never really think about that. But in court of law, you have at least, I think, 15 jurors. You say juries? 15. Now, let's cut it down to find out 15 good things about yourself. Describe yourself in 15 good ways. Now, for some people who somewhat uh, Think about demons. For me, I don't particularly relate to anything like that or believe in anything like that. But for those people who sometimes will do, all those good qualities about you, demons are one of those things that will kind of get in the way of your good qualities. But when you actually take time out to stop and search yourself, Demons is not going to have a way in your lives because you already are uh, stopped 
and search yourself, meaning you begin to ask yourself, who are you? What are the good qualities about yourself? If you're able to figure that out, it will take you maybe a minute to remove yourself from that friend of yours that takes drug and somewhat and introduce you into drug. So if you are in the habit of somebody that stop and search themselves, it will take you a while to want to enjoy gangs that literally not going to add value to your lives because you already figure out your values and you already figure out things that helps you to function as an appropriate person in your private life and in your social life. For me, for example, if somebody was to say to me, what is the one good quality about yourself that you will choose out of all your good qualities. I would say, I don't like to tell lies. And why did I choose that? Because for me, from the onset, when someone, when I knew A to Z, when somebody, to me a liar is someone that is capable to kill. Because someone that lies will find it convenient to do anything and they will just say, mm, I just lie about it. Nobody will find out. No knowing there's no hiding place. Everything we do, there's somebody out there that knows about it because God watches over all things. And God definitely has soldiers out there that sees what people deem themselves hidden that nobody can see it. Therefore, if you stop and search yourself, you will not have any reason for somebody to stop and search you because you've already done that job for yourself. When you look at things from energetic space, that we all share energetic space, we do affect each other. This helps me to somewhat stop and search myself particularly about that news that a friend sent to me and I just say to myself hold up is there something that I'm doing privately or socially that may be contributing to young African American being killed by the police ordinarily I would say to myself well I'm from Nigeria and I live in London what has black young men being killed in America got to do with me? Somehow I'm in a space in my life that I just don't know how to think ordinarily anymore. The first thought that came to my mind was, oh my God, what am I energetically doing? Energetically means things that is going on, knowingly or unknowingly. And since we all share the same energetic space, it means we are affecting each other, no matter which part of the world we are living. We affect each other, knowingly or unknowingly. It's actually worse when it's going on unknowingly because you will not be able to do anything about it. But when you actually know about it, then you're able to begin to take a renewed journey in your life, personally and collectively. So saying that to myself, that what could I possibly be contributing that may be adding to this sort of practices that is going on in America with the young black men and the police, it almost brings tears to my, to my heart because I never thought, particularly I thought like that before. And I'm like, whoa. So I had to stop and begin to search myself. And I said, and I find a relief being able to at least figure out one good quality about myself from the onset, right from age when you actually know your name. I've never liked to lie. And I still hold that characteristic about myself very there. And I thought, well, that's part of the but when you're somebody who don't lie, like everything in life, we, like, we, we are told to think the ups and the downs of things. When you're someone who don't like to tell a lie or fake things up, it means, according to what the society has taught us, 
you might not be able to get things done on time because you have to fake your way through things so that people will accept you. So if you don't fake things up a little, people won't accept you and if they don't accept you, it will be difficult for you to, to get things done in your life or to achieve your goal on time. Therefore, I know with someone with that quality that I have, I have to have something called a phyla. Some people call it fate. And you have to have it, in my opinion, better than the next person because it will be so clear to you that God is with you and you will get to your goal in life on time. The difference will be it will be on time, not before or after. And God that you, that you had decided to work with will make your goal when you achieve it perfect and permanent. But for that, which you fix your, your way through or lie through your teeth so that people will like you and you will get it done on time, a lot of the time is only temporary. It will not have a solid foundation that can make whatever it is you achieve by lying firm and strong. So, this is a big task for everyone of our community to begin to stop and search ourselves. If we're taught our children to learn that characteristic of energetic space that we all share, I'm so certain that energetically, when you search, when you stop and search yourself, it is very possible that policemen, no one out there, will have time to stop and search you because you've already done that job for yourself, you see. Which means it is possible for, her, for, for a person to become the judge and the jury of their own lives. It will stop you getting involved in situations that you don't need to get yourself in. And even if you find yourself in any situations, it will not take you too long to remove yourself from it. And I think that I've actually included the benefits of uh, being able to, to judge the juries of your life, the jurors. Because imagine, let's call the jurors in, for a minute demons that is trying to stop all of your good quality or make it blurry that you can't even see it. If you start to stop and search yourself, you'll be in a better position to say to those demons that would say to you, oh, who told you anybody can have the capability to not tell a lie? Who, who told you you're beautiful? Who says uh, uh, you're good at um, loving children? This demon will make you to doubt yourself, but if you stop and search yourself, it's almost like you'll be able to say to the demon, shut your mouth. You didn't create me, my life has nothing to do with you. You don't know me, I know myself better than anyone. The demon will just shut up and walk away from you. If that demon comes a thousand times, the same thing you will do because you've learned the principle of life of searching your stop and search yourself, meaning think about who you are. Know yourself better than the next person. On that note, I would like to share with us a very little story. A couple of days ago, I had the opportunity to meet a couple of um, older people, about 70 upwards, and I realized they tend to like to talk about Jesus a lot. And I came across one that took time to actually uh, talk with me for about five minutes, and uh, I allow him to say all he wanted to say, tell me about Jesus. They only finished, I said to him, um, do you think Jesus is coming back to um, die for you again to, and save your life? He says, no, Jesus is coming this time to put a sweet, joyful song in our mouth. That's what he said. That minute, I just said a, a laugh here because it gets it. 
Think for a minute, if Jesus was a person, are you going to really, really be in the business of Oh, you continue doing, do, you just continue doing all the bad things God said we shouldn't do. You just continue, don't bother to stay in your light. Lie against people, kill people if you like, steal what is not yours. All of those things that we all know is not God ways. Then again, we think, well, we will do it. God will find out. If you were Jesus, are you going to be in the business of coming back? Oh, do all the bad things you can do. I'll come and die and take all the bad things away from you. Till the next time. Keep doing all the bad things. I mean, come on, people. Let's wake up. Let's start to think, stop, and search yourself. That is not even averagely in any shape or form. Makes sense. Nobody's in the business of dying for anyone. We all must be in the business of becoming a better person every day. And the little step that we can take is going to help us gradually and in the long run. Stop and search yourself. Be your own judge. It's a jury. Be the judge and the jury of your life. It is possible. Start to think, who are you? The older man asked me, I thought I was the one asking him questions. He asked me, he said, who are you? He asked me, I said, I'm a child of God. Afterwards, I thought, oh my goodness, I should have ex explained to him precisely my God. And then I go home and I learn, I become better from that. My heart says to me, I'm a child of God. Ocean sea of God called Morimi Ephila. That's my God. I love that to everyone out there. And I hope you find your God that don't kill but lift you up without compromise all the time. And your duty too is to lift that your God up as well without hurting anybody. Lift your God up without somebody else's expense. As we know, it's our tradition in the final ministry to celebrate and honor all ancestors. All ancestors, we celebrate you we remember you today and always. We honor you today and always. All ancestors, all generations, higher, 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 non-ending, higher energy of life that we are, that we're going to be forever. Instruction of the week. In order to realize our duties to one another, we must realize our duties to Morimi Phila first. And our duty is that we must stand together as one, as every other community has managed to find a way to do so for themselves. It is time for us as people to stand together. It is not impossible. Particularly when we begin today to take that gradual step of stop and search yourself and teach that to your children as well. Today, we must begin that journey of taking a personal step to begin to spiritually cleanse ourselves. You only take thinking and making decisions that we know in our heart will add value to us. It may not be immediately like straight away now, now, but on time, we will reap the benefit of being a disciplined people. Remember who you are. Begin to re reveal who you are. Begin to renew who you are as a daily a way of life renewal. That will take you to a place whereby you reform yourself, 
and you stay reformed. It is real. Spirits calmed down in the presence of lights. Energy of God that is bigger and mightier and stronger than every one of us called man. When you stop and search yourself, it is clear to me that you will be able to figure out, even in the most tiniest form, how you may be energetically, not only unknowingly, contributing to the killing of young African American men. In your private life, try and be clear that you're not energetically contributing. In your social life, in your business life, try and be clear that you're not contributing to what is going on that shouldn't be going on in our world because it is not of God killing. And you may think there's no way that you're contributing to that. If you think properly, But what I would say, personally, just my opinion, however, is that unless you have taken the time to begin the walk, to stop and search yourself, to begin to think, to begin to become a disciplined person, to begin to really be keen and be interested to know the real God that is in you, that you are. Definitely, without a doubt, you are energetically, knowingly or knowingly, contributing to that which is going on in the society. You have to do the work first. So please, again, I shouldn't be using the word please, because it's not my business to be begging anyone. <laughs> it is for your own benefit that you start to become a better person today. The uh, Ibada of the week, meaning praise of the week, is that um, we give honor to Marimi Phila for a life that is worthy. Oh Lord Marimi, you are worthy of our praise for you allow us to have the ability to be able to stop and search ourselves in order to be able to align ourselves with a straight path. Alafia. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. That someday is today. We shall overcome. Today is my day. My Lord put a sweet, joyful songs in my mouth and I will sing joyful songs. Today is my day. Jammy, jammy, jammy. I'm jamming with my Lord. Today is my day. We have overcome. Today is my day. I'm jamming, I'm jamming, I'm jamming with my Lord. I'm gonna sing. A sweet, joyful songs to my Lord. I'm jamming, I'm jamming, jamming with my Lord. Today is my day, today is my day, today is my day. We have clarity that Mori Mifala will keep us beyond next week. Don't forget, remember, stop and search yourself. That way, no one, no one will need to stop and search you. <laughs> I love you.